and welcome to my new studio slash office from the first video of 2022. Today, I want to talk to you about what I think is going to be the main themes in AI in 2022. So let's get started. So looking back at the biggest developments of last year and the things that I've seen people discuss, this is a list that I've compiled that, according to me, is going to be the main themes of 2022. So the first one is self-supervised learning. With deep learning, we have been making gigantic leaps towards what we can do, the capabilities of AI and how it can impact real life. But this has been dependent a lot on the data that we have collected over the last decades. And the main issues have been about computing power or the computing time, the time that it takes to train a model. But we have been kind of coming over or overcoming these problems. So the next problem that we have is the lack of data or at least lack of clean data, lack of usable data. So that's why there is some research that is going into self-labeling information or self-labeling training data and then reusing it in the training of the model. And I think this will be one of the main research areas in 2022, and it will be one of the most promising things that will bring us the next big leaps into bigger capabilities or more capabilities of AI. The second thing that I think will be a big hit in 2022 is better or larger language models. This has already been the uh, trend in the last couple of years because we've seen that especially with GPT-3, when you make a very big model, you can really beat specialized models, fine-tuned models and the, at their own game. So that's why there has been some research going into uh, by the big companies exclusively, of course, to make larger models, bigger models that are going to be even better, that are going to perform even more accurately. So that's why I think in 2022, we're going to continue seeing big companies competing with each other to come up with the next groundbreaking model. The third thing that I think is going to be a main theme in 2022 is sustainable deep learning. Well, this is kind of like a wish or a hope of mine that it will be a big theme because as you might have heard, a big model like GPT-3 to train it, you have to emit carbon equal to or equivalent to driving a car from the earth to the moon and back. So. That is a lot of carbon emissions. So my hope is that the big companies who are competing to come up with the next biggest or the largest or the best model are going to realize that this is not the most environmentally friendly thing to do. And they will at the end dedicate some efforts to research how we can train these models in a more sustainable way. Next thing that I think is going to be very important this year and in the coming years is deep fake detection. Yes, I know it's very amusing to watch a politician do a TikTok dance or see a normally very serious celebrity do like jet ski backflips, uh, but Normally, these videos or audio files are not really good, right? You can, most of the time, if you look at it, you can tell, especially with a, as a person who is trained in deep learning, machine learning, or as a person who has grow, grown up in the digital era. But after a while, this, these videos or audio files are going to get better and better. It, it might be really hard for even us to understand what is real and what is fake. And apart from the quality, we might have a big quantity of these videos. So it might not be feasible for humans to sit down and try to distinguish them. And that's why I think we're going to need a systematic way to distinguish fake videos, generated videos from real videos or real audio files. And that's why I think we're going to start seeing more and more research into deep fake detection. Next, we have models that have a combination of capabilities, specifically vision, speech, and language understanding. We have been seeing a trend that models are going from specialized models to more generalized models that need to be fine-tuned on top. So that's why I think in 2022, we might start seeing models that combine even more capabilities on top of each other to kind of, you might think that trying to achieve general AI, but of course, just a portion of it. So but I think the main three capabilities that we're trying to tackle right now is vision, speech, and language understanding. So it might be interesting to see if anyone comes up with a way to combine these three capabilities or tasks. And lastly, again, as I always mention when I talk about the next trend topics in AI, 
is going to be ethics. But I think the difference is this time we're going to start seeing government starting to regulate AI and AI ethics. We've been seeing a lot of big companies having AI ethics uh, sections, AI ethics officers, but most of the time they're trying to cover their, cover their backs in case they make a mistake or they're just trying to look cute to the general public. But I think we're going to start seeing some actual legislations from governments in terms of what AI is, where it can be used, where it cannot be used, and what can be in a model or not. So these are generally the things that I think we're going to hear about a lot in 2022. And there is one thing that I don't expect will lose its hype and that is deep learning. And if you want to work as a data scientist, or a machine learning engineer, having deep learning skills are still going to be one of the key things that you can have in your resume. If you want to get started with deep learning, but you're a little bit overwhelmed, you don't know where to start, you already looked into it a little bit, and now you feel like you're in this weird in-between state of beginner and intermediate, definitely go check out my course, Deep Learning 101. We will start from scratch without boring you, without the boring theory, but we will do things in a practical way and I will teach you only the things that you need to know, only the essentials to be able to confidently say, I know deep learning. And I will leave the link to the course in the description. You can go and check out more details of what's in the course, what is expected of you, and what you will, what will be the takeaways for you in the course. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and maybe even subscribe to show your support and give me the message that I should be making more of these videos. I would also love to hear your thoughts on what you think is going to be the hot topic of 2022 in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.